The Lord be with you. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus addressed this parable to them. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does find it, he sets it out on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman, having ten coins and losing one, would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it? And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found the coin that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Now, the first thing tells us about St. Paul, St. Paul's realization. Uh, his knowledge of Christ, okay, it came later in his life. You know? He's far greater than all his achievements you know, as a Pharisee, as a Jew. Okay, Param Gunia, all his achievements are actually nothing in comparison of his knowledge of Christ. Kaya manggong na realize nga it's Christ who can save. It's Christ who can bring him to heaven. Not his being a Pharisee, not his being a Jew, not his being a circumcised. Si Jesus Ragyut, umuna nga nagpasalamat siya nga he knows Christ. At least through Christ, he can attain salvation. All the things he has achieved are mere rubbish. Mga basura. Why he nung dan? No? Kay para niya, knowledge of Christ is the most precious gift. Sayang kinamuhi. Og yesterday, Nagkata ko uh, final exam sa ako mga sudyante sa OAD. Niya, one of the students is actually come from Agusan. Niya, I really appreciate sa ilang programa dito. And I wish nga it would be also done here. Okay, so mga magod sa iyang gingon. Okay, ang among classes all, is all about wisdom, literature. Niya, mga siya nga sa among Provincia, Agusan, ang ilang elementary student no, would not graduate until makagi o LSS. So to sa ilang high school, no, ng mga sujanti, di makagraduate kung di makagi o LSS. So my charismatic would handle the moral and spiritual formation of all the pupils and all the students sa elementary high school. Ang ilang programa is a kind of moral recovery sa mga bata. Kaya siguro nakita nga tinood sa education na ito, diba? sa atong public education, is more on sciences, languages, diba? knowing mathematics, reading, writing. Pero ang value formation, character formation, Mogiwa, 
Pero mula gina, what's the use? Nga nakakuha kag K-12 or K-20 baka na kung ano man ang sa programa. Then after that, you don't know your Redeemer. You don't know your Savior. You don't know Christ. Mag-unsa man na kung daghang kay kag inyong tanibalaan niya pagka humanya na may pirno kaya pong ka. Diba? Pabona nga, how I wish nga all provinces would adapt kung unsay gisug na ito sa agusan. Nagsubi ito din ito, di ba? Sa Cebu City, pero sa mga because of politics siguro, or maybe it's the work of Satan, nga ride on sa politics, nga nawa ang nindot kay programa in my alma mater school, Abeliana. No? And how I wish nga, just like what happened in Agusan, Now, there was a kind of agreement between the government and the DepEd to integrate the program of education and moral recovery formation. Dili ka graduate in elementary, kung high school, kung di mo undergo old life in the spirit seminar. Mo ni atong iampo, may sunan. Nga di lang sa Sugbo, kundi sa Tibok siguro nasod. Kaya dagan tag mga knowledgeable, pero kung di sila kailan ni Kristo, and they don't have the fear of the Lord, then huwag yung solution ng corruption, huwag yung solution ng inunta criminality no? in our country. Pero kung ang tanan, 80% Catholics, 80% Christians would know Christ and would have access to the wisdom of God. Yeah, they would develop that kind of fear of the Lord. Kaya mo ng fear of the Lord. Nga tungod sa mong gugma sa ginoo. Mahanlog ka mapakasa sa ginoo. Hindi, <clears throat> mawa ang corruption no? sa tanang agency sa gobyerno and all sectors of our society. Amen. O, ang gospel tells about the wisdom of God through the ministry of Jesus. Nga ito makita, the wisdom of God is so different from the knowledge of men. Kaya din hinakita ito nga, the clash of actually attitudes between the Pharisees and the scribes and Jesus. No? Yeah, ang point of contention is actually the sinners and tax collectors. See, Jesus was so accommodating. No? He had a friendly discussion, dialogue, and relationship with sinners and tax collectors. Pero ang mga Pharisees and, tax coll- and, and scribes, orag, wa sila malipay. Ilang gikaguor, gani ilang gikasuko. Nga no, si Jesus entertained, welcomed no sinners into his company. Kaya para nila magod nga, kini mga makasala, especially great sinners, no, are hopeless case. Nga no one, including of course, kato mga righteous, should mingle with them. O mo na nga Jesus, a good teacher, Yeah, lahi yung way. Kaya nga itong classroom teaching, tagal man tag theory, then after that, practice. Ang iya kay practice, then after that, explanation. Kung mo nakikmingle siya, nakikhalubilo siya sa mga kasala, then afterwards, he explained why. And in this explanation, he presented the wisdom of God. And the wisdom of God is through the parables. Nga mangita good siya sa nawala. Iyag yung pangitaon ang magkasala. Kung gano'n yung pangitaon ang magkasala. No? O just like kung bawadaan kag-anak na kay napukanak, gusto mo yung buhay mo. Iyong pasagdan itong nawa kung imong gimahal ang tanan mo mga anak. Kung ikaw yung inahan, Ikaw gaya ga hatag o kinabuhi, 
No, si mga anak, imo pasagdan tong nawa, di siguro. So, so with God. Nga way usa, nga iyang tugutan, nga mawa, kay everybody, no, has been created in the image and likeness of God. Umona nga, everyone is precious. Even that person is considered sinner. Okay, so mapas, Old Testament, in the book of Ezekiel, God no, does not wish the sinner to die, but to repent no, so that the sinner might live. Kaluwasan, ang naso na unang kasing-kasing sa ginoo sa mag-asalan. Pero mo na gina, the attitude, the character of men, kung mag condemnation. Kung mag rejection. Kung mag it judges them. Yeah, murag, what happened in the past, and that during the time of Jesus, murag, nibalik sa atong panahon karun, di ba? Tungkod maganda ning atong uh, programa sa gobyerno, ni? Kaning against drugs. Yung yeah, murag, ang mga tao po, na condition po sila nga kay kuno, ang mga drugista, murag salo sa, kali, sa atong society, may ining pamat yun. Kung sa'yo nagsugusog ka matay, yeah, with impunity. So, ang daga kay mga tao, may na, mayra, mayra, mayra. Pero, what would happen to our society kung ang tanang mga 80% ng mga katoliko o kristyano makaigong mayra? Napasabot lang yun na nga, we don't understand the wisdom of God. No? Mabit ang itulog ni Jesus to the Pharisees and the scribes. And this gospel has been transmitted till this time and in the future. Aron kita ng mga Kristiyano, mga tinunan ni Kristo, would have that same mentality, would have that same compassion. We are called to be seekers of the lost. Atong iampo sila. Di tamingon, Mayra! nga nangamatay. No? We cannot do that. No? Kung Kristiyano, Gita. we cannot do that kung tinunan ni Kristo. We should have the same attitude and character of Jesus. Nga di tamo relish, nga magkasala, mamatay. We pray instead that they would repent and would turn back to God and live. Kay sama ni Kristo, we should pray for their salvation. Amen. Kaya kung matugot ka nga tukhangon, pat yun, asa may kaluwasan yan. So we we would be like the Pharisees in the Gospel. So atong yan po nga, ang mga Kristiyano unta, din sa atong nasod, would not be like the Pharisees. Instead, we should be like Jesus. Amen.